Hi everyone, we're having a very exciting day today because we're finally putting our car up for sale. And why is this so exciting? Well, for, for the like past four weeks at least, uh, we've been kind of dragging. Uh, We've we been really wanting to basically get to a house and get a move on. We're really excited for Thailand and basically we just really really want to go now is the time kind of we reached the point where we don't really need the car anymore tomorrow we're getting to our house um for the next month and basically we're just really excited since we've been living in our car for like three to four months now it's getting kind of um daunting i guess we really enjoyed it um it's something I definitely recommend people try at least for a week uh, you know because it's it's an adventure it's exciting it teaches you about your limits and really if, if you want to have a more detailed uh, description of what it's like to live in a you know non self-contained camper van you know check the video which is somewhere here this morning we've um, basically got gotten prepared we finished our poster car for sale fancy and lots of pictures and then the details yeah we really want it wanted, oh yeah the back just some more details there yeah so people like quick details and things like that so this is just the overview of the car yeah and I really wanted this to be colored but like in most places it's like two dollars for a double-sided page um, you know in color so it's really not worth it I think so now we're going to warehouse uh, stationery to uh, print a bunch of these uh, in warehouse stationery it's 18 cents, cents for you know a, a, a double-sided um, um, black and white copy okay or nine if you have only one side and basically this is our spots that we w we would like to hit so that's supermarkets hostels and there's like three internet cafes and we're going to see if they're going to accept our flyers. We have also posted on multiple Facebook groups. There's like backpackers, uh, backpacker board, and uh, Facebook are like the, the the biggest places that that we've spread ourselves. So yeah, let, let's get to it and see where our advertisement gets accepted. So we spent the day um, running around the center and hitting all the hostels, some supermarkets, and basically any place with a notice board. Yeah. Yeah. So what did you find out? Usually you have to write the date on because they only keep it for a few weeks or a month or such like that. So best thing to do, write the date just in the top corner um, before you go into all these places. Otherwise you have to write it on. Some of them you just stroll up, you say, hey, I've got this car advertisement want to go and post it and they'll show you where it is uh, some you have to put in like their letterbox or slide under their door they'll have a notice saying if you're selling your car then please put your advert in the letterbox under the plant pot under the door wherever and some you just knock on the door and someone will come and take it from you yeah, and there are places where um, there's actually a sign saying we don't sell any cars and any equipment anything just basically go away yeah we've posted over 20 yeah. uh, all around. We've got loads more copies, so 
we haven't done all the supermarkets in our area yet, so we'll do those probably in the next few days. Um, we've already had one reply through yeah. Facebook, so surprisingly, things, we, yeah. th- that was like only a few hours. Mm. Um, yeah, so yeah. that so there's interest. That's yeah. good. Around the price range of what we're selling, there seems to be more expensive ones, and then but not too many that are slightly cheaper. They're either a lot cheaper. Uh, but there's nothing around our price range, so I think we've got it in the sweet spot. Let's just hope for the best. Right, with the printing, um, now we got one printout that was grayscale, which turned out very good. Uh, so you can see things um, very well, uh, you know, the pictures, the details in it. And then when we went to Warehouse Stationery, they printed it just pure black and white. So there wasn't kind of that gray transition. Yeah. Um, it's like someone's done an awful black and white contrast on it. And yeah. it didn't look brilliant. And I went to go and complain. And they said, well, Grace to Gale is technically a colour print. So you'll be paying for colour, which is over 10 times more expensive than a black and white copy. And it, it, we just thought we printed 40 yeah. copies. We're not doing mm. uh, 40 copies worth of colour. Because yeah. it's going to be... Even though, you know, Grayscale, it's... You know, black Gray. and white, black, black and white mixed together in, in different quantities. There, there wasn't actually any color used. Yeah. Uh, but <coughs> whatever. Oh well, it's yeah. done now. So they're up. Yeah. So tell us about your experience uh, advertising your car. Uh, give us uh, any stories or tips and hints that uh, we haven't addressed. So yeah, comment down below. Thumbs up. Subscribe and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And of course, we'll see you next time. Bye.